Good day everybody, Sean here from Smitty's Adventures again. Uh, we're going to do our part two of our adventures in Game Boys. Today is going to be what you can see up in the corner there. The original DMG from 1989. Yes, 32 years ago. I was a fresh-faced 13 years old. Yeah. So here we go. Um, I do have several of them <laughs> that I managed to accumulate over the last <laughs> uh, four years, I guess. Um, so what started it is uh, I did get one, I believe, for my 14th birthday, which would be 19, uh, 1990. So yes, I am old AF. Um, what can I say? And I do reference my age a lot. <laughs> Anyways, um, I did get one when I was a kid, and it honestly blew my mind. Uh, the link cable Tetris with a couple buddies was absolutely phenomenal. It was probably one of the best things uh, that I've seen as a kid. Um, I was a Sega kid growing up. Um, I did uh, have the Master System. Uh, you can look at some of my other videos. I do an unboxing of the Master System and some gameplay for a couple of games. And, uh, you know, please check it out. <laughs> so self-promotion is always good. Uh, with nine subscribers, I don't have any... Uh, um, Sponsors, trust me. <laughs> but anyways, uh, so here we go. Um, basic, you've probably all seen this before. Uh, they're just regular DMG Game Boy. Um, this one here I accumulated from my cousin. She gave it to me. This was her childhood uh, uh, gaming unit. I have no idea where she got it or how old she is. She's quite a bit younger than me. So um, where my aunt and uncle got it, I don't know. But uh, she gave it to me when... I. Uh, Around my 40th birthday, 42nd, I think, around there, maybe 43rd, I can't remember. When you get to this age, uh, every year is pretty much the same. Anyways, when she did give it to me, uh, unfortunately didn't work. So I did have to tear it apart and uh, get to work. Um, like most Game Boys this age, it was the batteries. Um, somebody left batteries in it. Uh, for too long and it corroded the terminals. So uh, thanks to this platform called YouTube, it's all over YouTube. It shows you, there's hundreds of people showing you how to clean the terminals and stuff. So I did follow that uh, uh, tutelage from uh, YouTube and clean the terminals and voila, it did work. Um, but I did not clean <laughs> the case at all. And you can still see some of the crust and uh, corrosion in there that I don't know why I didn't clean it when it was apart. I just don't know. Like, what is the matter with you? You do the job half done, you know? But anyways, it works, so I don't care. Um, I did have a tri-wing <laughs> screwdriver that kind of sucked. And um, it couldn't get some of the screws out. And I ended up actually having to drill that. You can see the top of the, uh, the old screw there. So, oh man, is that ever dirty? That is dirtier than my mind after drinking a fifth of vodka. I'm telling you. Anyways. Um, so my cousin gifted it to me. I got it to work. It works fantastic. Um, the buttons are a little squishy. Uh, it's a well-used machine. Um, the D-pad is... Uh, it works well, but it's very loose. Start and select, very loose as well. But uh, what I like about it is uh, not yellowed. It, uh, the case is in pretty good shape uh, for the age, but it's a well-used uh, toy. Uh, the screen, uh, yeah, it's not bad. For something that's 32 years old, well-used, um, I can't really complain. The battery door is broke, but uh, you know what? You can find replacements for these. No problem on the internet. A few bucks, ship to your place, voila, and uh, get it back to up to par. Other than that, um, the contrast works great and whatnot. And uh, you know what? I'd show you that it works, but I really don't have batteries for it. And uh, but uh, the good thing is, I got me a an original battery pack. I bought this for a buck at a garage sale a couple years ago. Plugged in, charge it, it works. So when I play Game Boy with, with my cousin's uh, Game Boy, I use this bad boy. Watch this. I can't believe this. This is also like 30-year-old uh, uh, tech here. 
And you know what? That loop right there, you can take it to town with you if you want. You can just hook that right up under your belt. Put this guy in your pocket. You're good to go. Anyways. Works great. The um, contrast button's a little uh, weird. Um, it is... Uh, it's very sensitive, as you see, so it's going. But uh, the game itself, um, I'm trying to keep myself out of the reflection. So it has a couple save games and whatnot. This is a great game. Um, you know, it worked. Oh, there we go. Woo! Anyways, there you go. As you can see, it works great. That dot matrix uh, green and black. That is some nasty crap, I tell you. It's hard to see. Um, like I said, I am, uh, up there in, not up there in age, geez, I'm not that old, but, uh, my eyes do have a hard time, uh, uh, seeing it and whatnot, uh, but I do play under, uh, a lot of light and stuff, and, uh, you know, it's still fun. A lot of these older games are great because somebody might not be able to, uh, coordinate very well with, uh, many buttons. I have a PlayStation 4, and honestly, some of the games, you know, you have to use like eight or nine buttons. It's like, what the heck, man? So anyways, this is, uh, this is it. Um, when my cousin gifted it to me, it did come with a, quite a few games, actually. And this awesome piece of retro uh, game case. <laughs> That's probably why it's not very yellowed, is because she did have it in this. And honestly, this thing's solid. It works. And uh, it's pretty worn out on the inside. And it's pretty loose. Uh, the foam and stuff. So I usually throw it back uh, in this case and throw it in my armrest of my uh, of my chair and uh, play it whenever I feel like it. It works. It's still usable. Why not use it? It still gives me entertainment, right? Uh, some of the games she did give me, um, whether it was Mario uh, that you saw me playing there, Dr. Mario, awesome game. This I picked up with another Game Boy. Uh, I'll show you that in a second because I do have three. Um, I can't even read what that says, man. Something alien. Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat! New movie out. Wicked. Just saying. Hashtag wicked. Um, kids, thought it was too gross. You know, Fatality is a wicked movie. What can I say? Anyways. Um, everybody knows pretty much who uh, looks at these Game Boys know about um, the IC ISP uh, screen replacements and whatnot. So that was going to be a candidate for it, but um, I didn't want to destroy my cousin since she did give it to me and whatnot. So I did pick up this beast here uh, on Facebook, good old Facebook marketplace. Uh, this thing, uh, I didn't pay very much for it, but it was an absolutely fantastic shape. And I was really hesitant on using this um, as the ISP screen replacement um, for the uh, for the Game Boy. Um, it was missing a screen, uh, this glass piece here. So I did get another one. And as soon as I install it, I get screen cancer right there. You see those dead pixels? Yep. Not 24 hours after replacing the screen. So I'm like, come on, man. Like, really? But anyways, it doesn't affect the, uh, the game at all. This thing, I had a part. And there's no corrosion anywhere. The buttons feel brand new. Um, the uh, contrast which usually goes is absolutely fantastic. It's stiff and it works perfectly. Uh, RC Pro Am is one of my all-time favorite games. I love this game on my original Game Boy along with uh, Tetris. Um, we used to link them up and race uh, just like Tetris. Link them up and go. Um, a lot of fun. So, there you go. This, uh, this Game Boy was pretty yellowed. So that was a little disappointing, and uh, but the buttons, the D-pad, everything is stiff and it clicks like it is phenomenal. I did have it apart to see about the dead pixels, see what I could do about it. Like I tried a couple um, techniques that I saw on uh, YouTube uh, to try to get rid of the dead pixels, and uh, there is zero corrosion and zero dirt on any of the connectors or anything. Um, on the connectors for the D-pads or the buttons or anything like that is actually phenomenal. And, uh, but it is pretty yellowed, uh, as you can see there. Well, a little bit of dirt there, I guess. But, uh, yeah, this was great. 
Um, somebody had a sticker on it, I guess it was taken off. Uh, I can use some alcohol and get rid of the residue there, that's no problem. But even the inside where the batteries go was uh, spotless. So I decided, you know what, maybe I'll use my cousins for the ISP replacement because, you know, um, that was the worst one of the two with the crust, uh, smushy uh, um, buttons and whatnot. Um, thought it was a better replacement or better option, whatnot. So I was thinking of that. Uh, then <laughs> a fellow at work says, hey, I have a Game Boy at home if you want it. doesn't work. I'm like, yeah, sure, why not? So here's my third one <laughs> that I managed to accumulate in a short time. Uh, this one, unfortunately, uh, the screen just does not go on. I did uh, look up on YouTube on how to fix it. Um, I think it's the contrast rule. It's really stiff, so it could be corrosion. I did have it apart, and honestly, th this thing's loaded, absolutely loaded with corrosion. So I think it's FUBAR. I really do. Uh, but the motherboard seems to be working, so I could do the ISP, ISP screen replacement with this. Uh, because it does load up the game. I don't have any batteries. Oh, I could show you. Um, you know, I'll just see. Swap this over. Um, it does load up and it does start the games. I'm going to use uh, RC Pro RAM because it has music right away. And uh, anyway, so the screen's pretty uh, pretty scratched up on it, but um, the buttons are great. Um, not as good as poor old screen cancer one, and way better than uh, my uh, my cousin's gifted one. Well, we'll just uh, see. It just doesn't do anything, but um, it does load up, and the game does start. So I can press start, and uh, eventually it'll, it'll go when I press gas button. I can't remember which button's gas button. Oh yeah, sure. No. Oh, there we go. See? So the motherboard works. Game cartridge slot works. Um, loaded with corrosion. Absolutely. So uh, this poor guy here, I think, is going to be the ISP replacement. Um, you know what? It's going to take an old machine, make it usable, bring it into the uh, 21st century, uh, there's tons of videos out there. I don't have to show you what it's going to look like. Um, there's tons of videos out there that uh, show you what an ISP uh, screen does. And it's just absolutely phenomenal what they can do with these uh, machines now. Um, I'm a big advocate of uh, repairing instead of throwing out and uh, whatnot. So if I can repair this, put a little bit of money into it, I'm not going to get my money back out of it. Uh, I'll show you what I bought. And uh, I'll never get my money back out of any of them that you put the ISP replacement. It just makes it too expensive, in my opinion. But it brings it uh, to its usable. Uh, at my age, my eyesight's not that good. Um, the ISP brings it up to, like, HD pixels, man. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Look on YouTube, you can see it all. So, I did went and bought a huge set up uh, for an ISP uh, replacement and I went all out. Um, I didn't just uh, replace the screen, but I'm replacing everything. It's going to be totally 100% uh, uh, customized uh, to me. I don't know which way the box is. This is from Handheld Legends. Um, I did go with Handheld Legend Legends over other companies just because of the use, the, the ease of the uh, website uh, means a lot to me. So it was very point and click and cash me out sort of thing. Also, their boxes, their cases, I changed, I'm, I'm getting a new case. Um, I'm gonna change it up from the original gray. Uh, there's my receipt, you don't need to see what I paid for everything. And just don't tell my wife. Uh, she hasn't seen the bill yet. Oh. <laughs> Anyways, which is kind of neat, got a couple stickers. Comes with it. Uh, definitely one of these are gonna go on my car. I don't know which one. So anyways, uh, Handheld Legends is not a sponsor. I have nine subscribers. Nobody's sponsoring my shit. <laughs> Anyways, uh, this was very impressive from Handheld Legends and how they uh, packaged their stuff. I loved it. I've been in and out of it a few times. But anyways, um, I went all white. Uh, so white buttons, 
um, white silicones, uh, white D-pad. Um, this is a mounting bracket. Um, if you look on YouTube and watch any of the ISP uh, installs, if you use the original Game Boy case, you have to do a lot of trimming. And I didn't have the tools at the time or very much confidence on doing it. So I didn't, uh, uh, I went totally uh, customizable. It was 13 bucks for a new uh, clamshell case, whatever you want to call it. And uh, you get to pick the color that you want. They had a lot of things that were out of stock at the time, but that's okay. I found what I wanted. So and it's got absolutely everything. Uh, new screws uh, came with it. New uh, multiplayer port. Oh, I didn't show you this. Whenever I'm ready, I just happened to pick this up today. Um, an original splitter uh, for the Game Boy. Uh, I forgot to show it to you when I was showing my uh, DMG stuff. Uh, anyways, yep. Uh, if anybody wants to donate uh, three game, uh, three link cables and uh, three Tetrises, get in contact, okay? Okay, on to handheld legend stuff. So handheld legends, really good quality stuff. Um, it was a lot of money to get everything that I'm showing you here, um, but the quality and the ease of uh, ordering is what I went for. Um, everything's cheaper on eBay or Wish, um, but uh, these guys are from Pennsylvania. I'm up here in uh, Mexico North in uh, the capital, and this is the board. Uh, what's cool is uh, that board, uh, the contrast wheel is a selector for color and brightness. So you can change different tones, purple, green, blue, and whatnot. Uh, the only thing is you do have to uh, solder in your old speaker. I haven't soldered since in high school. And I'm talking about like the early 90s. So I don't know how that's going to go. But I'm confident. I bought a soldering kit and whatnot, so I'm going to give it a try. And uh, here's the screen that I got for it. That's the ISP LCD. I don't know what it is. Not not an LCD. Doesn't matter. It's going to look friggin' good. Um, I did screw up and order the wrong uh, lens um, for my Game Boy, so I did get original lens, and that's where I got. Uh, this guy's lens I ordered this lens um, which just wouldn't look good with that shell so I used it on that one then I got the screen cancers like yep yeah yeah that's just that's just fine that's okay you know and here we go this is the new uh, case it's all going to go into it's all going to be white and blue so I'm just waiting for the white uh, uh, screen so there might be a game adventures in Game Boy part 3 but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I want everybody seeing me how I screwed up. So this is kind of neat. There you go, 2020 retro stick handheld uh, retro six. I can't speak English. Handheld legend. Great webs website. The only thing I was disappointed about <clears throat> was uh, opening up the battery box, and it's not painted. But honestly, I can deal with it. I guess it's just white. I guess 3D printed plastic then spray painted uh, blue or different colors and it's awfully soft I don't know why but it's very soft oh but anyways um, I'm going for a blue and white theme anyways so I'll just say it's part of the theme right <laughs> you're not going to see the white uh, when everything's in Ugh, maybe the start buttons I don't know but uh, that's okay I can live with that for what I paid for the case. I'm, I can't really complain. And it uh, comes with all new screws. Um, this is ISP built, so you don't have to do any trimming. And uh, you don't have to do any funky tricks with lining up the screen. That's why I got a bracket in there. The bracket was 4 bucks Canadian. Um, all said and done, you know, my donor machine was free. I got it off of a friend. But um, I did buy this one originally, so I did pay thirty bucks for this. Uh, the whole kit was uh, shipped uh, one fifteen Canadian, and I did have to buy a soldering kit, which was an extra forty bucks, uh, plus my time and my anxiety because I haven't done or built electronics. 
you know, since I took electronic class in like 1994. Um, so like I said earlier, you're never going to get your money out of it. Um, especially the first one, because uh, maybe if I build 15 or 16, I can keep the cost down because they'll pay for the soldering kit itself and stuff. And uh, so there you go. Handheld Legends. I'm really happy with what they sent, what I ordered, the ease of the order, uh, the quickness. Uh, I expect my white screen uh, sometime this week, which is, uh, I don't even freaking know, tomorrow's Mother's Day. So May something. <laughs> the week of May something. And uh, you never know, I might do a part three. I can't guarantee. Um, if I do a part three and you see it, it's because everything went well. If you don't see it, it's because I screwed it all up. <laughs> and uh, you know what? If I do do it, I just said do-do. Um, I'll film it from start to beginning uh, with no editing like everything else I do. Just so you can see the actual real time and the real effort that puts into it that I put into it to get it uh, um, swapped over and everything else that's including tearing down one of these. I've torn down quite a few of these now. So that's no problem. It's like less than five minutes. So you can see me screw up the solder for the first time. Uh, everything else. Well, guys, if you like what you see, uh, please give a like, share, um, subscribe. Um, I'm going to do a million dollar draw for my 10th sus subscriber. I'll put everybody in a, uh, in a barrel and uh, draw for a million dollars. No, I'm not. <laughs> Don't believe me. I'm just trying to get subscribers because I'm lonely and I have no friends. So thank you. Take a look, subscribe, share, comment. Um, if you want to talk about old video games, uh, this stuff. Uh, if you have any suggestions besides what I see on YouTube and rubbing the crap out of that uh, for the dead pixels, let me know. Uh, see what uh, worked for you. I'm not opposed of getting a new screen either. So uh, talk to you later, guys. Bye.